McCready. I'm too late. They're all dead. Memorial services are being held around the world today for Santo CEO Nathaniel Brown and several prominent members of the UN Security Council. Brown and his guests were murdered last week when augmented terrorists attacked the Safe Harbor Convention in London. Interpol released chilling images from the murder scene, admitting that the attack could have been much worse. Apparently, members of the Augmented Rights Coalition infuriated over the death of their leader, also planned to blow up residential towers surrounding the Apex Center Convention Hall. I do not know about you folks, but I think it is high time the United Nations passed the Human Restoration Act so we can all sleep safe again at night. This is Eliza Kassa, reporting to you... They're fanning the flames. ...from Pikes. Fanning them? They lit the fucking torch, man. Eliza might as well go door to door handing out pitchforks. Ark was gonna be blamed no matter what. From the second Brown opened the doors. If you'd listen to me. Too friggin' arrogant to listen. He gambled big and he lost big for all of us, Oggs. Damn it. We were so close to pushing that vote back. We were close to losing thousands of innocent people, too. Yeah, I know. And thanks to you, we didn't. Hell of a choice you had to make, Adam. Marchenko didn't really give me a choice. Once he told me what he'd done, he tried to blame me for it. I couldn't let him do it. Wish I could have seen you wipe that smirk off his face. You know, he seemed almost relieved. Guess in his mind he was going on a soldier, not a murderer. Self-deluded prick. Listen, you know I'm on your side. I'm just pissed because Janus texted me last night, told me the Human Restoration Act has already passed. They're just waiting for Pikus to stir up the mob some more before officially announcing it. Janus knows that for a fact? Yeah. So they got what they wanted. I'm sure they're feeling pretty good right about now. But this bullshit act, the segregation, the violence, is just gonna make everything worse. I know. The task force is gonna be busy. You're not planning to go back to them, are you? Wasn't aware I'd left. But you did your time, man. You already proved that outfit is corrupt. Why stay? We know what's coming, Alex. The Collective needs all the help it can get. And it's not all smoke and mirrors. The task force does make a difference. Sure. Not everyone in the organization is compromised. Just the ones issuing all the orders. Miller wasn't corrupt. He was a good man, a good cop. Maybe if I'd seen it sooner. My point is, there are others inside the force we can trust. We just have to find the right people. Can't say I like this, Adam. But you're the one taking the biggest risk. I'll fill Janus in. He's been looking for an angle to get us closer to Manderley and Paige. I'm sure I can find one for him. But when you speak to him, tell him this too. Before going all the way on this, we need everyone on board, including Janus. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? Criminals may have achieved the impossible in Prague last week. A break-in at the most secure data archiving facility in the world. According to rumors circulating the internet, Czech State Police were called to investigate at the Palisade Property Bank after bank security guards exchanged heavy gunfire with an augmented assailant. It is not known at this time what fault the assailant was after, or if in fact, he successfully broke in. Palisade Bank Corporation owners released a statement earlier this evening 
claiming that any rumors of a break-in at our highly secured facility are just that, rumors. Between you and me, folks, I think they doth protest too much. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Ubelek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong! ARC? Was framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not Ark. He was trying to kill Ark, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikoladze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikoladze has gone off the grid and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think.
is not the point. We should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart, what's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen. Who we believe may have had external help. Possibly by the Juggernaut Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. Hmm. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. It's only a matter of time.